My eighth grade teacher used to say on days like today that it's as cold as molasses in January. Well, it's not January, it's November. But yeah, those molasses, they're moving slow with temperatures this cold on our Tuesday. Meteorologist Joe Martucci, good to be with you here. We take a look at our air temps and our wind chills, and wind chills not getting above 32 at any point today. In fact, they should be in the 20s all day long, eventually sliding into the teens. And at the shore, you think maybe we get a little bit milder, ocean temps are around 50, not the case. About the same there as well. Now, we take a look at our temperatures today, and yeah, they're below average. And we can get temperatures this much below average even in our climate changing world. They just don't happen as often. In fact, according to Climate Central, a nonprofit group braced in Princeton, New Jersey, temperatures like Tuesday, one and a half times less likely to occur due to climate change. And yes, we could be talking about some snow to go along with these temperatures today as well. We'll show you what that means in our future cast. Sunshine for your morning. Winds getting strong as we go into the afternoon. 15 to 20 miles an hour sustained. There's that little bit of snow that's possible as we go into our afternoon. And you could see 30 or 45 minutes of some snow anywhere in South Jersey. Don't pay too much attention to where these blues are, but the point is anywhere is fair game for flurries or a light snow shower that maybe, maybe, maybe could coat the grass for a brief period of time this afternoon. By the evening, that snow gets out of here. We clear out. We stay a little bit breezy into the evening, but then we really calm it down overnight. And then Wednesday should be a little bit of a calmer day, but it's still going to be a cold one as well. For your Tuesday, we're talking about mostly cloudy skies with an afternoon snow shower possible here. Winds are sustained out of the northwest around 20 miles an hour or so. Wind chills in the 20s all throughout the day. We go into Tuesday night, wind chills in the teens, even at the shore, where a low temp will be of 27 here. When you have sustained winds 15 and 20 at the shore, that'll do it. We'll eventually clear out overnight. And then for Wednesday, a good amount of sunshine. Still going to be cold, though. Air temps in the upper 30s. Wind chills going to be around 30 for most of the daytime hours and then sliding back into the 20s and teens overnight. Now, we are unusually cold for this time of the year, 10 to 15 degrees below average. And it is unusual to have a day with wind chills below 32 degrees in November, but this is not rare. In fact, record cold is not expected for either Tuesday or Wednesday here. We're still about five to seven degrees short of those record cold temps, whether it's during the day or during the overnight low temperatures. Our next shot of rain is going to come on Friday here. And yes, I said rain, and I do mean it. Temperatures will warm up later this week. This is a good shot of rain. We do need the rain. We are in drought in western Cumberland County and Salem County, so we'll take it here. This will be gone by Saturday morning. We go to our inland seven-day forecast. We'll show you all the numbers here. 40s, Tuesday and Wednesday, and barely 40s at that. And then we go into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, even Monday, all in the 50s here. So seasonable, actually even above average as we go towards Monday. Saturday looks to be the drier of the two weekend days at this point in time. Sunday looks to be the wetter one. Some tidal flooding around as well. And we could be talking about another storm system on Monday here. And remember, we're getting into December. That is climatological winter, the three coldest months of the year. And if you checked out our winter outlook, you know that this winter is going to be a stormy one. And as we kick off December, certainly looks to be the case here. We have three days with rain from December 1st through the 4th here. Now, can we see snow? Nothing here. But with so many storms around and the inevitable colder outbreaks to come, one or two big ones could be on the way.